What's up guys? This is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. And to pick off where we left off, uh, as part of our war against Bavaria, we've also landed troops against Corsica because they were allies. And now the Corsican conscripts are marching out to meet us on the beachhead. So let us kill them all. We can bring Corsica into the fold and then we can focus... Well, that'll be four or five armies ready to bring into battle against the uh, Ottomans, which will be very, very useful. We mustn't, uh, well, we mustn't forget about the Americas either. Okay, the terrain's not great. So we can... No, one set of artillery is going to go right at the back and fire at, re fire at range. Give them a pike unit as a pike unit is a bit of a goalkeeper. So then the other these garrison guards take position in the town with this pike unit. They can have the cavalry and my general, and they're going to push up on the right flank. My howitzers open up. So all my artillery's firing. Push my infantry up. Conscripts have been a unit of conscripts has been annihilated from mast. How it's a fire. Now on this flank, because you've got a lot of well, we've got a massive. Uh, infantry advantage and we've also got everything we need to nullify their cavalry advantage. Well they haven't got a cavalry advantage. <laughs> if you've nullified their advantage they have no advantage. Charge those pike, charge those general with my pikemen. Provincial cavalry fell back. My pikemen caught up with the general, so they are not going to have a good time at all. Some more garrison guards to engage more conscripts at point blank range. Curassiers are doing a good job, against, a good number against the conscripts. The pikes are going to help out there. My general's bodyguard is going to charge into the back of the provincial cavalry. My pikemen over on this flank have, or are, should be in the process of charging as much cavalry as they can get. These conscripts have held up remarkably well. But I fear it will not last for too much longer. Toggle Pike Square! It's so rare you get to do, ever use this this formation. Could you think of anything worse to charge? Okay. So let's begin to march. I 
our infantry into a new line. There we go. Let's get some of these gunners firing shrapnel shot, because they can. Shrapnel shot the 10th regiment. Kabang! Boom! The regiment of pikes behind them. That was a good hit. Hold on. The conscripts came back, so I'm going to send some pikemen to go deal with them. Get these guys out of Pike Square. Charge the provincial cavalry! That's what they were waiting for! Don't worry, I'm sure this isn't going to go badly wrong. Oh no, wait, it did go badly wrong. Poor old conscripts. There we go. Those conscripts might get a chip, might get a volley off before my pikemen engage, but them and their little funny hats are not better than my men in funny hats. Sweet. Oh, so many men died because they routed through our lines. Yep, they're done. I'm going to continue. Stop all the artillery from firing. And just let my cavalry, well, A, try and pick units that are clustered together and not spread out, because I can't, can't be bothered with that mess. Actually, charging the pikemen would be a good idea. Ultimately, they're not gonna. It's not gonna take long for them to get to the edge of the map. Yeah, there they go. So the last units left is the unit my pikemen are chasing down. But if I keep right clicking, every so often they, their men will stop to fight me. Come on, fight me! Damn it! <laughs> the one that got away. But there we go. That was devastating for them. Yes, maybe you shouldn't have tried it. You fools. We booed you off of the mainland. You could sit so you could sit there in Bastia. Okay, first of all. Maintain siege for now. I've done that just so I don't forget. Uh, you guys. Replenish rapido. Actually, I might just combine two of these units together so I can get that weak unit in. You need to go up and hit Grigori Ek, the leftovers. You might come south and actually hit Alexander Puchinka. You will need to go and hit Anton... Lazardina. Okay, there's lots of battles that need to be done. Okay, first... You... need to get towards Moscow rapidly. The Moscow garrison is now fully replenished. But let's pick up some infantry to save... to help... well, not save them, but to... Uh, help them. You men go hit Anturim Kuznetsov. Yeah, I'll take that. Too bad. Okay, you men go back to Petrovskaya. You guys up here can make your way up here to try and fight that army there. They're desperately trying to convert Konigsberg, but it's not going to help them in the long run. 
God, we've got we're ready to be ready to push on every front, pretty much. Okay, this army. Yeah, you can leave Cairo as well. Um, keep recruiting Colonial Line because we want to keep these men resupplied. First, a lot of fighting to do in this turn, which will take many, many parts. Um, okay, first, we are going to destroy the Genoese. Then there's plenty of fighting to be done against the Russians, and there's plenty of fighting to be done against the Ottomans. So even though you guys might not, or won't, witness it in this episode, uh, the, the fighting... This turn's going to last a few episodes, pretty much. <laughs> um, but that's what starts to happen late game. And that's why it can feel like we're not making as much progress, because... We aren't, <laughs> um, really. Yeah, you guys just form an almighty gun line. Our cavalry are going to be up front, or maybe off to one flank. So let's create. Whoa! Whoops. Two infantry, one guard, one pikeman. That's one. Flank brigade. Yeah, and you get these guys to push around on the right. Get our cavalry in here fast. More to garrison. They've only got one man left. And he's had enough. Very well. All of you focus on the 1st Regiment garrison line. Because this cavalry is going to knock out these mortar batteries. Just charge these guys up any way they can. These men run in position. Attack the mortar garrison. Ah, we have reinforcements coming in on the right. So let's deploy an infantry line. Get our pikemen up. Our pikemen and cavalry can deal with this clump. You men charge in, charge my pikemen up. These guys are all running. It just looks like they kind of don't want to come in. It looks like they just want to hunker down near the edges of the map and go, eh, we'll do stuff. Go get them, pikemen. Because look, most of these units are just not really units. So my cavalry's hit the line infantry in the rear. As long as they hold while my pikeman clears out this firelock arm citizenry then my pikes can help support my garrison, fight against the garrison line. These men are opening up against the provincial cavalry coming in. Furlock arm citizenry is falling rapidly. Got some cavalry that might be be a bit of a problem in the centre, but not really. My cavalry is winning, but it would be nicer if I could clear out the armed citizenry.
because I think this, this infantry is more than capable of clearing out all them. I mean, I've got to admire the Firelock Arm citizenry standing for as long as they have. It says they're losing slightly, but that's a bit of an understatement. On this flank, you guys are dealing with the men that are left over. These pikemen are trying to get over to the right to help out a bit more. General's bodyguard. It's only his little piper that's left. That's right. Waver and break. Break. Break, damn you. Why do my file arm citizenry never last this long? Why do the mine always die immediately? They aren't even important now. Yeah, there's no point in attacking them. Yep, yeah, that flank is folding. You men charge these armed citizen rigs, we know what they're like. And we're ready to fight the pikemen. Cavalry to continue on around. Carry on around, I said. My pikemen are better than their pikemen. If you think we do the same amount of damage, and my guys are significantly more elite, my guys are just that much more armoured. Shot the tenth. There we go, charge straight into the conscripts. Yeah, these men will not like the outcome. Pikemen for the Pike Guard. Form up on the line, on the flank. The seventh have come back. Some firelock armed citizenry have come back. You silly devils. Why did you do that? Those men up. Oh, it's really coming down now. With the UK, there's a lot of rain. A lot of rain this weekend. Yeah, we needed it. That's what people say, isn't it? <laughs> oh, there's a lot of rain coming down. Ah, we needed it. These men bayon and charge the fourth. So they're there loading and firing as quickly as they can. That's right, you better get into position, because uh, all these guys are coming to say hello. Guardsmen up front. See, I've even committed my most dangerous foe to the fight. Go get them, pikes. Oh no, there they go. Guys, fire it will off. There we go. 
So that is Genoa secured. Dead, retreated, dead, disappeared. So let's repair the House of Representatives. You guys rebuild. Upgrade the wineries. Upgrade the roads. Soon they will develop a port. Good stuff. And then at some point we just knock on the doors of Valletta and say, nah, we're having this. But it would be useful then to expand my navy here so I can bottle the ships, bottle their fleet up so I can land my troops. I suppose I probably might use you for this job as well. Two, three units of cavalry. Light, heavy, heavy. Good. Upgrade the port here. Not a lot of stuff that needs upgrading. Uh, you can just... Oh, I didn't... Yeah. yeah, we lost some stuff. Restraining, I did that, really. I mean, <laughs> that's the bare bones of another army. But whatever. There we go. So you can combine with these chaps. Go over to Transylvania. And you can probably do some swapping at some point. Actually, it's a lot of cavalry. Swap two cavalry. Oh, okay. There we go. Something like that. That will be good there. Then you may push through the gap towards the artillery fort. You guys are replenishing. You guys are replenishing. Let's upgrade the mine. The one thing you want to do is take Michele, Michele Contarini. First go down here and then east. Just to make sure we do make them we do push them back the direction we want them to go and this is a, is an army with bountiful levels of artillery so we're just going to go on a massive offensive can't afford to sit back otherwise we'll just lose too many men to artillery fire especially as this late in the game they've got lots of uh, advanced artillery shots so they've got they've got a shrapnel shot and all that kind of stuff so it makes no sense to hang back. Create an almighty line and advance like a wave. My gunners can aim at what they like, my howitzers can aim at what they like. There we go. Could fire a shrapnel shot to be honest into their cavalry, that would help slow them down. To be honest, I could just focus on their cavalry in general with my artillery, that would slow them, that would really help slow them down. We slice into them with shrapnel shot, Swiss guards are ready. Present. Fire! Not so worried about killing everyone, just because it's such a small army. Especially most of it is routing his cavalry. I mean, this horse, how it's a horse artillery unit's going to route.
Aha, light infantry. Hello, dragoons. So one regiment of horse versus three light infantry units. I think they might be enough to kill some of my guys. Just keep unloading on them. Put these gun crews there away. They're not gonna. They don't want any part of what's going on. God, so many men routing. Eh, you come kill them. My cavalry, my general can carry on doing what they want to do. My cavalry here is doing a great job. They got left behind. Blast them with shrapnel shot from my howitzer, from my uh, field artillery. There we go. That's all this hidden pocket of light infantry that's going to get mowed down. Stop the artillery. There we go. The cavalry is finally getting some support. But they're doing a real number on all this light infantry. I thought, I know light infantry isn't good in melee combat, but I thought three units might eventually chip away enough. Yeah, my artillery, chase him down. My cavalry, rather, chase him down. Chase down the howitzer crew. That's a gun crew there. So the infantry, I'm not so bothered about. It's the gun crew. Although you can chase down the infantry because you're already chasing down a gun crew. It's another gun crew there. Yeah, there they go. Awesome. That's the destruction of a small force there that's going to drive them east. Avanti! You men replenish. You're hunkered down. Okay, I reckon if I did this, if I moved you up to here, brought you men up to bear. Same with them. Move them forward. Take Baldazar Minicello and hit the Russians here. Um, but looking at the timer. I believe it's time to end the episode for this this fight, and it will take out both these these uh, units, not the army we've just fought, but it will engage these troops, and then we can well, just keep fighting, to be honest, mean to kill these units, kill this unit here, then probably fight this battle here, plus all the stuff in, in Cairo. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the destruction of Yuri Migorov's force here in near Laval. Cheers everyone.